Better be Evan Bivol, the winner of that is a fight that's been linked with you. These are great fighters, but these are potential future opponents. Yeah, of course. Could easily happen. You know, that, that, that's one of those mega fights. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PTNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Man. I know what time it is. The Dax is in the house, man. So check this out. As of late, we've been hearing a lot of news surrounding Arthur Bedebia versus Dimitri Bivol. Rightfully so, right? Because in my opinion, this is the biggest fight to be had in boxing, you know? Yeah. To establish light, heavyweight, undisputed dominance between the two for aforementioned fighters man but however i don't want to overlook the other potentially great fights that we have on the card as well you know including uh sky nicholson versus raven chapman yeah as well as fabio war the fraser clark rematch yeah and jack massey versus jaya pataya you know just to name a few and i want to focus on the latter man we have jaya pataya you know going against jack massey and a lot of people have been you know, overlooking Jack Massey as far as Jay Apataya's opponent. You know, a lot of people have been asking Jay Apataya, what are you going to do afterwards? You know, are you looking forward to fighting the better be of a Bivol winner? You know, are you looking to potentially go into heavyweight or even a future uh, matchup with Usyk if Usyk comes back down to cruiserweight? Ah, slow down, Lil Weaver. You know, Jack Massey, aka One Smack. Yeah. One smack, that's really his nickname, you know, I think it's more appropriately placed on Will Smith, you know, because he smacked the heck out of Chris Rock. Oh, wow. You know, I'm about... <laughs> but hey, we, you know, Jack Massey, who I call AKA Jack Massey. No, did he? Which is more appropriate for this matchup because he is, he is a big cruiserweight, you know, and it's um their last wins are probably their most impressive wins between Jaya Pattaya and Jack Massey. Jack Massey beat Isak, uh, uh, Isaac Chamberlain and Jaya Pattaya beat Marish Bradish for the second time. Marish Bradish, you know, recently retired. He only has three losses, two to Jaya Pattaya and one when he shared the ring with Usyk. So those are good wins. However, I think the most pertinent uh, matchups for their matchup, their upcoming matchup between each other is both their fights that, that that transpired three three fights ago, you know, um, Jack Jack Massey fought Joseph Parker, right? What? Yes, Joseph Parker is a heavyweight, you know. So that's how big Jack Massey is. They're the same height. They're both coming in at six four. Well, I think I think Joseph Parker may be six five, but you know, around six four. Either way, uh, Jack Massey's two inches taller than Jay Pattaya, who's six two. So sometimes they say six one, but. The, the important thing about this is that, yes, Jack Massey was outweighed by Joseph Parker by 30 pounds, but he was still all the way up to heavyweight. And he took Joseph Parker essentially to the limit, man, losing by losing by a decision. Now, Jay Alpataya, you know, he's no he's he's no stranger to, to being a smaller guy. You know, he's not often the smaller guy, but he's no stranger to being the smaller guy. In fact, three fights ago as well, he fought Jordan Thompson, who was 6'6". Damn. I'm sorry. You know, a tall guy. Um, and he won in dominant fashion. However, I think with Jack Massey losing by decision to Joseph Parker is arguably just as impressive as Jai Pattaya dominating Jordan Thompson. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! Because, no disrespect to Jordan Thompson, but he's not the caliber of opponent that Joseph Parker is. And what's indicative of that is the fact that Joseph Parker is an interim champion at heavyweight right now. You know, so that loss kind of aged well for Jack Massey. But the point is that while one guy won against a lesser opponent and the other guy lost against a, 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 a more, you know, significant opponent... I do think that that's pretty much a wash, but it shows that what J. Pattaya is kind of up against. He's up against a guy that's been all the way to heavyweight and can hold his own against bigger opponents. So I just don't want people to overlook. With that being said, I got J. Pattaya beating Jack Massey. <laughs> don't get it twisted. You know, I think he'll win. However, I do think that this is a serious matchup, and I think Jack Massey has a good chance of upsetting the apple cart, you know what I'm saying, and, and throwing, 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 a, throwing a wrench into everybody's plans, you know, and what is Big Turk notorious for lately? having good matchups that have some upsets. Like I said, I will repeat again. I think Jao Pattaya, I think he's the best at cruiserweight, in my personal opinion. I would love to see him fight uh, a unification match between the winner of the unification match between uh, uh, Zerdo Ramirez versus Chris Billiam Smith. However, don't overlook Jack Massey, man. I'm telling you, he has his hands full in this fight, man. I think it's going to be a good fight. I fully expect Jao Pattaya to win, but I 
fully expect Jack Massey to do his thing as well, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. Do you think Jack Massey has a chance? Do you think Jabba Tyre is going to wash him? Or, 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 or what do you think, man? Do you think people are overlooking him? I don't think Jabba Tyre is overlooking him, but I do think people and, and media are overlooking Jack Massey, and they might be mistaken, man. So I appreciate y'all, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.